Just uh, all right, that almost went smooth. I think that was smooth. All right, seamless. Uh, welcome to the world famous shit show. It is Sunday day afternoon live. I don't know. We don't have a name for the live ones. We were doing the goddamn pre-recorded, uh, overly edited sort of uh, show for a long time. And we're strange. We're taking a long time to get up. We're but strangers. We're, we're strangers to live. That's what I'm saying. Is we're strangers to live. It's more fun, though, because we get comments. We got everybody on Facebook Live. Right. And Facebook owns Some people. this, apparently, so good luck to them. They can kiss my black ass. <laughs> I just think if they can, if they can uh, promote oh, this. I, I actually good. want to see what's going on live, too. So. It's right there. There we go. Hide that behind this lovely shit show hat. So, so uh, what I started saying was yeah, go on. a previous show that we did, We um, Josh had given um well both of us for christmas he gave himself a christmas present which he can do no i what i did was hold on i we had discussed like oh we don't really need anything right matt can you bring the monitor down a little bit it's it's distracting we had discussed like neither of us need anything Right. right and we don't really want anything but we had talked about the uh, 23 and me thing and I was like oh at least it would like like that and then I was like you know what if she's gonna do it like what am I gonna do with like like not do it for myself too it's not like I, it was like buy one get one free right I, I, I still had to fucking buy two of them well it's pretty funny though like we did it Back in January, I think that's when... It was, was like the first yeah. first show of the year. You got your results back maybe a week ago, and it wasn't very... In, uh, insult to injury for a Jew, okay? It was $80, I think. It was 80 bucks a piece, and then another eight weeks to get the results back. And what they told me, and we, we did this last weekend, but I don't think anybody was here. Um, ninety nine point eight percent Ashkenazi Jew. Well, that's why yours came back so fast. Yeah, yeah. it was like ah, oh, that's a fucking layup. Yeah, I'd so love, I'd so- love to be the guy like a sign like they give that to the interns right. at twenty three and me. Oh, we got another Rosenberg. <laughs> yeah. Oh, his last, his name is Josh Rosenberg. Go ahead. Hold well on. Too. Yeah. But he doesn't really know. Let's just uh, just send him a form letter. Here you go. You're you're ninety nine point eight, and I, I'd imagine it's uh well I know it's point one percent is uh, standard deviation kind of thing like. It, they, nobody's perfect. So nobody in your entire family married outside of the Jewish culture or race? Or uh, my or uncle did for his first marriage, but I, I don't have that. It didn't branch off right, to my yeah. side. You know, I was I was at the fucking wedding, so I doubt that would come up in a spit test. <laughs> <laughs> so mine is still MIA. I don't know what I am. I'm all over the place. But I do know that my great grandmother came here from Ireland, so I feel like because of that, I can definitely. Oh yeah, we're you know, we're celebrating. Um, that's green. That's probably not going to show up. No, none of them. We you have <laughs> St. Patrick's. Though. You have St. Patrick's uh, decorations and I got my here. Guinness shirt on. Right? Hold on, Matt's giving me a thumbs down. What what's the matter? Is it the cup? Is it the green? Is it fucking everything up? Matt, who's Isn't giving it? you a thumb down? This Matt. Producer yeah. Matt. As soon as I get my testing back, I'll have a better idea. Oh, he's just shaking his head because he's, you know, half a... But we are having a St. Patrick's Day party, so we have all these fun little photo booth things for people to take their photos with. Yeah, so apparently we're having a St. Patrick's party here at the front room. What will happen? No, nothing, nothing. Yeah. No, look at it. It's You're watching it. This is bullshit. <laughs> Nobody wants to fucking watch this. Hold this on, pipe, this maybe. Works. This one works. 
You can see right through it. How's that? What? It, it just looks like any, you know, weekend when you don't shave. Uh, and then you yeah, got the... Uh, yeah, come on. All right. All right. All right. Whatever. We, enough chit-chat. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Uh, go to squattypotty.com. <laughs> Enter promo code uh, WFSS. They're the greatest. It's the greatest way to poop. All right. New segment on the show. Finally. I know you've all been waiting for this. Because we don't really do anything. That's why it's called a shit show. That's why. That's that's where it comes from. Uh, so we have this uh, segment. Josh. Josh is what? What would Josh watch? Josh what is, is watching. Josh watching. What is Josh watching? Yeah. So let's uh, l- let's do it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> That was a little cartoon of you. Swimmingly. Yes. Okay. I, what was that? How did you do that? It was cartoon me. It's that. grotesque. Yeah. It's grotesque. Oh, I don't like, look at that fucking thing. I got logos all over my forehead. <laughs> okay. So uh, every week when we do the show, I'm going to review a, uh, a new or what, what were the rules? Either a new show yeah. that I started watching or a uh a show that nobody fucking nobody has been watching but it's coming back for another season it's been renewed uh so uh, can i just speak to this for a second yes please because of where we live oh well because of where we live yes. we get our billboards around here are yeah. all upcoming shows and shows that i've never heard of and they're just everywhere plastered everywhere yeah you well you drive into hollywood and it's it's Billboard City, yeah, so and you get to see everything new. that's coming out. Like when that, um, what was it? In, in describe what's the show? The the black chick on HBO, Indecent, Insecure. Oh, Insecure, which I actually like. I'm a huge fan. I loved every episode of it. Uh, was, it was, was it episodes? It was written very well. Yes, yeah. and and scripted and 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 acted even. Yes. Uh, Golden Globes and and Emmys all over. So what are you watching, Josh? Okay, so this week for... uh, What's the name of the segment? What What is is Josh Josh watching? watching? (laughs) Okay. What is Josh watching? Uh, I have chosen a show that just started. They just posted their second season, and it's the whole thing. It's it's binge-worthy on Amazon Prime... Or Amazon? Amazon Prime. It's an Amazon Prime Prime original. Matt, put it up there. Sneaky Pete with Brian Cranston and and Giovanni Ribisi and a bunch of other people I cannot for the li- Margot Martindale's in it. Brian Cranston's awesome. But yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of what sold me on it. And Giovanni Ribisi, I mean, come on. Yeah. Boiler and Room. Margaret, and Margaret, what's and her name? Did you already say her name? Margot Martindale. Margot Martindale. Yeah. She's amazing. She was great in uh, Justified. Play uh, Mags Bennett. Oh, right. Uh, there's Another Giovanni. Girl. And do we do Brian Cranston yet? Let's get uh, put Giovanni yeah, wait, wait, wait. put Giovanni up there. God, I could do a a pretty decent Giovanni Rabisi face. Ready? Is that like your constipated face? Uh, I mean, uh, Brian uh, Cranston's uh, doing a Matt Merlino face. And yeah, and yeah. Brian Cranston looks high in this this shot here. <laughs> but um. The show is, like, if you have not seen the first season, you, you definitely have to watch it before you get into the second season, which is now streaming. Uh, it, the show is about Giovanni Ribisi, who plays uh, Marius Josipovich, who is, he's in pri- It starts out, he's in prison. Spoiler alert, but the fucking first season's been out for a year, so I'm just going to get you into it. Um, he's been in prison. And his cellmate's name is Pete, and he's got this family in Connecticut or upstate New York. And uh, and Marius is uh, a con. He's a con really artist. good con, con, con a artist. Car, con artist. <laughs> so uh, while he's a cellmate with this guy, he learns the uh, he learns the whole ins and outs of this guy's life because he knows he can't go back to his old life. So he gets out, he switches some files, he got, he gets out, and his release papers say that he's Pete whatever. So what? Stop distract. Get the fuck out of here. So he gets out, and he, he takes he takes on the, right, this so personality of Pete. All right, so you don't have to watch Pete. season one now. Yeah. 
Watch season one though, yeah, because it's Brian really... Cranston is fucking amazing. Brian Cranston plays like a mob boss, and uh, Giovanni Ribisi plays like this sneaky con artist. Pete. Yeah. yeah. And it's good to the very last second. Yeah, every I mean, single there is not a dull episode. A lot of shows so have good. that thing where it's like the first three episodes of the of the season, especially the the pilot season, the first three episodes are real strong, and then it's like uh, just filler, and then the last like two are blow your fucking yeah, brains out. Very well, very well. Every done. single episode has you sitting on the edge of seat, and that's it's kind of dangerous because they put it all out for you to binge watch, and then you got to wait like a year and a half, two years for the next season. So. Be careful watching it because you're gonna be uh, you're gonna be kind of pissed when uh, it all runs out. So watch Sneaky Pete. It's available on Amazon. It is uh, Prime free. Is it free? It's free. If you have if you Amazon have, Prime, yeah, if you have it's free. Prime, yeah. So it's nineteen ninety five or whatever. Yeah. If you yeah. don't, who doesn't have Amazon Prime? I don't know. You don't have? Yes. Yeah, sh- <laughs> ah, shut up. <laughs> he has Amazon Prime. All right. Is it a thing you need a password? What do you think for? of Sneaky Pete though? I, I remember hearing I think, Cranston tell Adam Carolla, like, Sneaky Pete's coming out in a few weeks. Right. And I thought it was an animation thing. Actually. No, that's the uh, Super super yeah. Mansion or something like I that. I really liked it. I think I watched season one twice just because there was a big gap between the two. I've seen season one twice, and I'm up to, like, see, uh, episode three of season two. But season... It, if, you, if you've already seen season one... Start watching uh, uh, season. It's two fast it's, though. It's, it's like the you know we've been wa- we we are actually rewatching West Wing and that's fast. It's it's quick. Yeah, but, but it's also like if you are super stupid, you'll you'll still get it. So everybody should watch this show. How's maybe that? that's why I had to watch. It that's twice. my fucking review. <laughs> um, yes, Matt. Does Matt looking at me? No, I'm not looking at you. Nice. Oh, so the different ratings for the show, okay? Right, we have um, what were the different things? We have um, storyline or storyline continuation. Uh, out of five, I get a, f- I give it a five. I'll give it a four. I'm not. Sh- it doesn't really tie a whole lot into the Brian Cranston story yet, from the first season. Not yet, but who knows? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. And then opening uh, opening come? sequence, I give it a five. Uh, so yeah. opening sequences is actually a site, and I, I I feel bad I don't have it in front of me right now. But you can watch any opening sequence as ever created. It might be just opening. I, sequence I can just seconds. play them in my head. No, but it's so cool because they show you how, what they used to make them. Like if you're, a, if you do production work, yes, it's really cool to see um, the different layers of yes. um, the production. We just use one camera detectives? and we drove from New York City to New Jersey. No. What show could that be? Sopranos? We took a glove and put it on an assembly line. What could that be? <laughs> no, but like um, True Detective. Don't even watch second season ever. But first season the, the, we, we the took, opening we sequence. We took uh, Larry, what's his fucking uh, Bronson Pinchot and they just did the happy dance and he was petting a sheep. What, what could that possibly be? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> All right. I give uh, Sneaky Pete uh, two thumbs up. Is that not our rating? Is no, it, uh, it's somebody else. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's got a nine and a half. Speaking uh, of, the uh, ratings will change as the as this sh- as the, right. uh, the segment progresses, but All watch right. fucking Sneaky Pete. That's my rating. So watch this. We got going for you right now. Okay, uh, let's take this. Yep, yeah, play this uh, next little segment here. Hey, Becky. We got a tiny hands moment. so funny all right all right so we're back back. (laughs) i have 
recently, hold on, just, <laughs> can we I, talk I, about these? I recently fell in love with two different things, and one of them <laughs> is sushi. The other is doing shit with tiny little hands on. So uh, naturally, the first seg, the first edition or episode of Tiny Hands Moment. Is that what it is? Tiny Hands Moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tiny it hands moment. Had to moment. be the uh, eating eating sushi. With tiny hands. <laughs> Anything with fucking tiny hands. Matt got me into this thing. Matt, I know. Matt, Matt's the Matt's the created by credit here. He uh, or sorry hat. <laughs> he he fucking posted Instagram videos. <laughs> he's because he drives Lyft and Uber and all that shit. And he he he's he's got the thing in the uh, cradle thing. And he's he's posted videos of him like in the maybe we should seat, grab that video. And he's just like looking back at the passengers. And then, yeah, you could, <laughs> it was it was my passenger that put it as their story. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. So world famous. Wow. <laughs> but he's sitting there, and then his arms come up on the steering wheel. He's got these little <laughs> fucking hands. <laughs> So every episode, and these little hands are holding this giant steering wheel, and and then he comes home like later that night, and he's cooking up, and I'm like, you got to do it, do it with the little fucking hands, the little hands. So he like grabs a spatula and he's holding it with both little tiny hands, fucking, like mushing stuff around in the pan. So I I was like, I gotta I gotta take a picture of that, and then. And then it hit me, like, what else would somebody with little hands do? Lots of things. Situations, yeah. so. No, I don't want to offend anyone that actually may have little hands. But. I'm trying to, that, you know, while, when I watched him do it, and then when we were doing the sushi thing, it made me wonder, like, I'm sure I've met people. Like, I know we have a friend with no thumbs, or no thumb, at least, on the handshake hand. But they sell these in the a kids' toy shop, right? Our president has very small His, I yeah, so. believe me, his and hands are really And they do it on really Night Live, so I feel like that's already cleared PC world. Wow. I don't know. All right. I don't know how important so that is. So we stole it, I guess. Anyway. All right. We, we got news? We do. What are we running at right now? How long have we been going? Uh, 19 minutes and 40 seconds. Oh, we got plenty of time. You know why? Because this is a free medium. That's why. All right. Uh, Sue, news? News time? Oh, can I have uh, one of those, please? Thanks. And I'm just going to do... Uh... Oh, this is so exciting. This is the most greatest news ever, ever heard. Ever? Ever. Was I'm that? trying Did to you do just my. Turn into Lou for I was trying to do a Trump. This is the greatest nude ever. <laughs> so Trump is actually coming to California, which is he didn't win California. Obviously, this is the most. He didn't. No. I won everywhere. Believe me, okay. The popular vote is not what matters. I won electoral votes. But like, where's the tiny hands? <laughs> I know we should actually have the tiny hands available. But if, oh, Matt, if Matt didn't have to switch Matt, to uh, hat, the super P A N T D <laughs> and producer, this is a kid's a, a jack of all trades. Believe me, if he's you're so just great. Joining us now, he's gonna he's gonna resign to go in back. about three weeks because I can't hold a staff together. But okay, I don't know how I mean, you he can start. Yeah, to do your. Uh, I don't know. All right, all right. Sorry, I have small enough hands. <laughs> Well, hold on. This is so, kind of funny. So Trump is actually coming to California. Oh, they're right there. Oh, he got me. <laughs> Dick. You know, this is a live show. So Trump's coming to California. He's going to stop over in San Diego. Um, because when he goes to San Diego... It's the first brick in the wall. <laughs> He's That's looking what at we're some doing. Uh, prototypes. I think we have a slide <laughs> of this. Sample designs of um, the wall that he's been Matt, you got the... Uh, about. The, the, the Trump the wall. wall pictures. Um, so there's, there's like a series of them. I've seen. I saw this like, a, like a month or two ago. Yeah. So where we, it was all they were all peacocking like their wall designs. I I got a wall. I really feel like like Trump has to hate, or I don't know. I don't know. Actually, now that I'm saying it out loud, does he hate or love Elon Musk? He must love him. He must hate him because Elon Musk is cool with like just like 
minorities, I guess. But um, he's got to love him because he's like an entrepreneurial spirit uh, and the the forerunner. Right, of, that's true. Of, he would win Apprentice. Like, like fuck NASA. Like I'm going Elon down. Musk all the way. If it came down to like the like NASA versus SpaceX for president, I mean, come on. Yeah. We got to go private on this. Obviously. Come on. Well, look at these walls. I don't know if but, you can oh, sorry, see. Sorry. I, can... I want to see Elon Musk's design for the, uh, the, for the Mexico wall. wall. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't matter. We'll launch right Is the over first it. one like a wooden wall? Like what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that's going to really look, work. Look, I, I, as someone who's it's driven... It's like the three little pigs. As, as someone who's <laughs> driven into the parking lot of a Home Depot and driven out with, uh, you know, a, a, a flatbed truck full of plywood, Mexicans are no strangers to plywood. I don't think that's that's posing any challenge to them. No, someone could definitely huff and puff that down. I, I don't want to sound racist here, but if you put, like, you know math problems at the top you know maybe they wouldn't get over <laughs> i don't think that's that racist i don't know a little bit because you know two of the engineers i work with are mexican and they're structural engineers. Yeah. Yeah. um but yeah it looks like a it looks like a series of walls maybe there's Put soap at the top six that's even worse <laughs> six six wall prototypes whatever look at the ones that have like the curves yeah. on the top of them so no it, it looks like it's got like the uh the cushy pad like the the foam padding there's like no way getting over that right like we used to have on this fucking so, console but so I, I don't know enough about who's built these walls prototypes. Doesn't but, matter. It's wall. But I'm just. It's sort of like here's my wall. It's like you know those cooking shows where they like know. at the end they display like their cakes. Hold on. So <laughs> let's just look at this for a second. Uh, you see the uh, you see the one on the right. Yeah, the wooden. Yeah, one. it looks like the big wooden one. Yeah. Doesn't it look like it's one huge like sheet of of three quarter inch plywood? <laughs> yeah. How Maybe. the fuck did they cut that out of a tree? No, those are... It's all good. The grain all matches. It's all small pieces. I don't think it's wood. How could it make a wooden wall? Too much wood that would be... <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. It's like It'd be a whole lot of plywood to go through. Freaking Neller's Ark or something. Like. I do like the ones with the padding on the top. Yeah. Because it's uh, it's making a statement, but it's, it's also sensitive. Hmm. Soft. All righty. So he's also <laughs> while he's in San Diego. This is all on Tuesday. So, wait, so, so he still thinks of, this is going to fucking happen. Yeah, this it's, is not going to happen. Never gonna Plus, look at the happen. gaps between. I mean, they could just walk around. <laughs> if he, the, like I was saying before, though, with with Elon Musk, like if he got somebody like Elon Musk who was like all about this this idea of building a wall, the, it would happen. When the government is behind it, it's never going to fucking happen. Well, they, it's, it's not going to work anyway. And you got it's, er, it's, literally everybody in the country who's paying taxes to get this done, and, and then they they go, "This is not a this is not a good plan." You have two by fours holding up a fucking a fifteen foot wall of, of three quarter inch plywood. It's it's, it's never going to. It's not going to work. These aren't going to work anyway. That's, that's it's why silly. NASA is never getting to fucking Mars with no. a person. They they put the rover on there. But they Elon lost Musk it. Shot it. He sh- he shot his car up into fucking space. They just launched the Falcon, the Falcon Heavy, the fiftieth trip into space. The fiftieth trip. Have you ever heard of a NASA mission going fifty times up, up and down, up and down, landing back in the thing? No, it's just space junk now. And I don't want to talk about Apollo thirteen. Don't get me started on Apollo thirteen. It was a nightmare. It was a shit show. Hey. All right. So, That's a good name for a show. <laughs> so while uh, Trump is here, he's also coming to. Well, I think the only reason he's really coming is for this event and Beverly Hills fundraiser. Where, Hold on, wait. He's going to San Diego for this wall thing. Yeah, for the wall demo. God, I hope they're throwing fucking like loaded burrito supremes like right over the border from TJ. Just right in his fucking hair. Uh, Matt's in the wrong scene here. So um, he's so he's going to Beverly Hills fundraiser. Where guess how much the attendees are paying? I might have shared this with you earlier. Twenty thousand, twenty-five thousand dollars. Two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a person. I was. Who is paying? For, nine who? tenths away. How many people are going? Maybe he only has two people. So maybe four. So and it's a million dollars. Um, Matt, you need to point, go up to on the left. Yeah, there you go. interesting point. 
Um, you can take not the, wall the best down. demographic here, unless it's in like Orange County. Well, yeah, not they the call it the Orange. Is, uh, yeah, Hollywood yeah. is not the yeah. place you want to do a, a uh, fundraiser. I guess for you're Donald right. Trump. I guess because. Um, People we know that live down in Orange County are actually pretty strong Republicans. It was like, no, and just Hollywood itself. Like George Clooney's going to be like, you know, I don't, I don't think this is really. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. If it was like ten thousand bucks to get in, (laughs) George Clooney would, you know, hired twenty five people. Is that it? Twenty five people. At ten thousand bucks a pop. Are you buying a table? And then you all go in and you rabble rouse a little bit. You rouse around. I'm sure. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, protocol as to who's coming and going into that event. Oh yeah, the Secret Service. Right. So the other um, bit of news I have is um, apparently there was a Russian spy in England that was um, that was poisoned through uh, some nerve agent gas. So surge. It was a Russian spy. And his daughter were found around the table where they ate at this restaurant called ZZ Restaurant. Look, I've been saying this for years. Bring a spider monkey with you. They're cute. They're cuddly. Everybody likes to pet them. They play around. They fuck with you. They hang from their tails. But they also taste the food before you yeah, eat it. Yeah, that's it, it Matt. Uh, I, I don't know. So now you can't go wrong. This is, this is the protocol. They're telling people who have dined in this restaurant that you need to now... Um, clean your clothes. They should be washed ideally in a washing machine. I don't know how else you would wash them. Um, I don't think they'd poison the whole hotel or the whole. Well, wor- it's yeah, it's a whole. low it's a low risk, but it's definitely nerve agent. Well, yeah, and his right, daughter. And him, That's like an itch, though. Him and his daughter were sitting next to the to the agent, a table away, and there's, is that the hotel? Yeah, that's the restaurant. Restaurant hotel. So yeah. anyway, they told you also if you have a mobile phone. Handbags, electronic items should be wiped with baby wipes. <laughs> you need to dunk them in bleach. Wipe the baby. Six hours. Put it in a bag of rice. And wash your hands. So, yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? That's like a no, real No, that's the spy, spy game. That's the, the spy, spy game. <laughs> yeah. No, you, you sign away all your rights to, uh, you know, a safe environment when you join the spy game. Well, I feel bad for the people in Salisbury. Have you ever seen... Well, that's why... You know, like James Bond, he wouldn't go in and be like, "I'm at no risk right now." But you're putting the people around you at risk. But they don't care. It's national security. Yeah. Well, you know, if it was a nuclear thing, sure. It's pretty crazy. I mean, we watch Homeland. You who, know, who they know the risk. Him? They know the risk that they're taking. Risks. The risks. Well, he that was they're made. Taking. I guess that's what they call it, right? The what? He was made. He was made, uh, yeah, and probably burned. Well, he's in the hospital right now, along with his daughter. Yeah, burned. That's when the uh, CIA disavows any knowledge of your existence or affiliation to the Central Intelligence Agency. Is that the, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's do a little plug. Uh, Tuesday nights, Tuesday nights here at Front Room Studios, and you can, do we simulcast it or is it just on... Um, I share. Oh, I guess I should start doing that. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start doing that. But um, a show that we both produce, co-direct, um, mostly direct, co-direct, like floor direct. I floor direct. I I'm also a uh, cast member, or yeah, I am the coach of a cast member. Who is uh, oh, Martin, Martin Malumare? Um, who's from? You can throw that up. Matt. Who's from Bayside, Queens? He went to Cardozo. He is Oscar the Grouch's cousin, first he, cousin on his father's we'd side. We bring him on, but he's a he's green, so he's he would green. Disappear. It did not work well. <laughs> <laughs> he, um, oh, my dad's watching. This is this is great doing live episodes. He made it back. Um. We don't have a whole promo thing, though, do we? Just, yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Let's just leave that up. <laughs> uh, check so out Hollywood Late Night with Rocco. Uh, Tuesday nights at, what is it, 8, 8.30? Around 8. 8 to 9. Depends 8. on what time people get Starting here. time, 8 to 9 p.m. Pacific time. Now right. Pacific uh, Daylight Savings Time. Um, 
watch it. They got a puppet who comes on. <laughs> He's so, the best part. Sounds remarkably like me. They play games. They they do games. They're very and they witty. Do, uh, it's very night like ten, like night time late night show ish i don't know i'm dead yeah so it's rocco um who's somewhat related not really but to me and john yeah oh and uh ben and uh john de and yeah he has different people dropping in but yeah john and and yeah and and hats the uh the musical uh supervisor one man band yeah it's good so that's good cool all right um we're at like uh, 34, so good. I think we're good. Let's put, um, and do thank yous or shout outs or. Sure. Hello, Dad. Glenn Rosenberg, the hero of, of all media and, <laughs> and knowledge. He, he, was, actually, he was on your show once, on your EMF show, right? No, it was not my show. Well, I mean, the show that you were on. He was on, that uh, was like- he, he came on The Good American. That actually, if you want to learn some fucking shit, go on uh, the Good American Collective. <laughs> dot blogspot dot com. Just look up the Good American radio program, and uh, there's an episode from August of 2015. 2015. I'll take your word for it. And. It was, it. my family came to Boston from New York. They were visiting. I was bringing my sister to the ACDC concert at Gillette. Um, but they came by WEMF Studios, and my dad sat down for a little interview, and Charles Rivers and uh, Johnny Hall of Fame kind of grilled him about, because he, my dad's been in the radio business for fucking forever. Yep. Uh, and they they grilled him about the uh, the old days of the Apollo Theater and just ba- like payola, all that shit. Great stories, really awesome, good stories. awesome stories. Go check that out. I was uh, obviously uh, third third or fourth banana on that show. You didn't speak very much. I did. I got some good fucking zingers in there, yeah. Susan. Don't ever come on. <laughs> well, your dad um, was telling great stories. I don't, Matt, I don't know if that's it, but put it up. Yeah, yeah, the Good American it. Collective. Yeah. Put it up there. Boom. The Good American Collective. Blogspot. Com. Go back to like somewhere in 2015. Uh, I think they put a picture of my dad as like the picture for the oh, episode. Yeah. And uh, Good. check. Yeah. Good stuff. So here's my dad, and uh, you know, an episode from almost three years ago. <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> Uh, check out uh, Charles Rivers every week. They're on EMF and Tommy. Tommy's coming out here uh, soon, I guess. I think he said April after Easter and Passover. And Passover is does he observe? No, we're doing ca- the Seder I'm, show. I'm just putting it on the calendar. We're doing so the you Seder know. show, everybody. We're doing the world famous Seder show. After Saint same Patrick's as we Saint. did the Boston Seder show. You can't do it when it has green. No, that just keys out. I'm smoking bricks, see? Go, 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 go. Okay. No, but we're doing um, we're doing the world-famous Seder show. Charles Rivers, uh, the aforementioned, was on the first one that we did, and I taught him all about Passover beautifully, expertly. Edited. Yeah, you did a good expertly job with that. Expertly edited by uh, oh. this Well, it was truly. a three-camera shoot. That was tricky. We did three cameras yeah. and, and about what two and a half weeks of editing. It came out came well, out around you know. Uh, I don't know if people are familiar. It came with out the, around Hanukkah, but the Passover event is is all about suffering, and it, and it it drones on and on. Wow, what? It's a it's a, a it's a holiday of remembrance. Yeah, it was it's a, a lot. holiday of history uh, regarding uh, Moses. Yeah, and it's long. And there's a prophet. lot of prayers, and you went through it, and I was just commenting. I was leading the Seder, Sue. It was a good thing. I'm not complaining. About it's it. a good thing. It was good. What are they going to do? Those Ashkenazi Jews. Ashkenazi. <laughs> How do you say Those it? half of Nazis. <laughs> Why? Do, why is Nazi <laughs> actually <Nine>. in? <laughs> Guys, if you if we went to Hebrew school together. Don't get twenty three in me. I'll just I'll I'll 
screenshot a copy of mine. There's Just no send Josh 80 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and especially if we're related. My brother and sister got off real easy on this one. And I kind of I kind of wanted them to chip in. Maybe I'll like maybe I'll sell them on like the uh the health uh the health update thing, the health oh, risks yeah, and all that. Oh, yeah, that would be a good idea. Maybe I can get them on that, but they're uh, my whole family went, "Well, why are you doing that?" That's you're Nobody it's fucking wandered Jewish. away. They're like you're Eastern <laughs> European <laughs> Jewish, and I was like, yeah, but let's see. And then uh, yeah, they were they were right. <laughs> so yeah. 80, 80 bucks, and uh, eight weeks later, I'm still bar mitzvahed, <laughs> and 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 rightfully so. <laughs> just <laughs> just a hundred hundred fucking percent Jewish. So that's it. And mine's still out to be determined. What what my. Yeah, you're st- the, the jury's intro. still out on Sue's. That's nice. Yeah, they're trying to figure it out. Maybe I'm an alien or something. Maybe they're just like, hmm. Okay, we're going to build not, a wall. We're, we're not keep really out sure. All the aliens. <laughs> we're not really sure where really she's great. from. Um, thank you. Uh, thanks, Mark Turlino, for the glorious intro that we Maybe have. we could do it as the outro, too. Maybe we can. Maybe Matt's quick enough to do that. Let's go, Matt. <laughs> Let's go, Matthew. you. Oh, you know, there's a couple other shows we're going to produce on here. We're going to produce, uh, from the Front Room Studios, that is, we're going to produce Freelance Poetry with Matt Merlino. You can throw that slide up. So that will be coming up soon. I think Mikey Faves wants to do his own uh, show, too. All right. Yeah, so if you're in the um, Famous comedian, greater uh, Mike, Burbank Mike area. Mike is going to be participating. But if you are, yeah, go on now. In, Sorry. In the greater mm-hmm. L.A., Burbank, Glendale area. And would like to have a TV show, Facebook Live. What is that? You what could, the fuck is freelance? What? That's Matt's show. That's another show we're producing. Logo looks great. You'll be at work no. while we do it. Focal point. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So, anyway, geez. just let us know. Call this number. Oh, nope. there is no number there. But if there was. It's 818-something. <laughs> we don't know it. Actually, yeah. You can message us. Uh, Boston Shit Show at gmail.com. All right. What? Oh. Who's that? It's Grampy. Oh, hi. Okay. <laughs> so, um, as as you're watching this, we have a um, we have a technical director and producer, Hat Merlino, which is Sue's uh, oldest and arguably dumbest son. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he is... Uh, you think Mikey's smarter? As you will see this, he has officially been sacked. <laughs> Matt. Matt. So the number is hey, 818... You're fucking fired. 641-3421. 641-3241. We could put that one, in the whatever. Facebook comments. But anyway, if you'd like to call into the show... Matt, can you put or the like number to, up, please? Yeah. I can put it... Up as well. No, we're gonna just put it on the Facebook live feed. Six one eight, brilliant. They'll never. That's that's like. I think that's Ohio. God, that's you our know, number. You work in ad sales for a little bit. Uh, national ad sales. You kind of get to know the area codes a little bit. You know what I mean? I like uh, when I get stuck. Don't put though. a one. Five 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 what five is this five asshole doing? five 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 five. He's so fired. Oh my god. <laughs> That's not going live. He's fucking useless. Just... No, put the number up. It is up. I put it up. Put it up better. <laughs> Pin it. Pin it to the damn thing. Uh, great. Well, thanks for your help, Matt. We appreciate it. And oh Mark. Uh oh. Is it Mark Turlino? Yeah. Good. If he wants Thank you, Mark Turlino, for the uh, the beautiful intro that we open every show with. He did that for us and didn't charge a dime. No, but we get to say his name. Yeah, we, we do in royalties. Mm-hmm. And if you honestly, if you need any uh, photoshopping or anything like that done to really piss off someone that you pretend to like, go to Mark Turlino. He's a he's a wizard. He's a fucking surgeon on on Photoshop. <laughs> that would be good if there was an O at the end, but so, <laughs> he's so almost helpful. It's like <laughs> I don't need that up there. <laughs> Put it, yeah, God, here. Thanks, Mark Trulino. We needed to have little um, bubbles Thanks, in our Mark head. Thanks, Mark Yeah. Uh, Can you put hi, Dad? 
Can we do that? We already did that. <laughs> He's just so bad. Oh my god, this show has gone nowhere. Hello, f- yeah. Oh, oh, you could just change it live. That's pretty cool. All right. I didn't know all these things. All right. Well, can we? So take, exciting. Take all right. Thanks it. so we much, guys. The show. Have, we a rest, the show. have a great rest of your Sunday. Watch Sneaky Pete on Amazon. That's our. Yeah. It's really fucking good. Brian, I'm curious to see if they bring Brian Cranston back. I'm sure they will. Yeah, I'm not sure how they would tie that together, but stranger things have happened, which is another really good show. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't watch season two. I have to kind of binge it, don't I? Yeah, you should. Okay. Is that a pay font? (laughs) He's fucking... (laughs) You know it's not. All right. Um, that's it. All previous episodes at World Famous Shit Show. All the not live streaming we could put previous these there. episodes Maybe we should look into that. available at worldfamousshitshow.com. <laughs> and pew. 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 Come on, Matt. Oh, my God, Matt. <laughs> We're doing a thing here. Pew. Uh, and just, they pew. know calm. It's good. Just calm. Oh, my God. <laughs> Thank you. For fuck's sake. Watch all the previous episodes. <laughs> there. And, um, yeah, next week maybe we'll have Mike Marlene on. Yep. Our heads are cut off. Aren't they? Uh, oh, Mike. What? Your other fucking assholes coming here? All right, that's the show. Thank you, and uh, we're we're uh, out. We're we'll put this poopy hat on. Good night and good riddance. And thanks for the three people who are still watching. Oh, thank, yeah, thanks, whoever hat. they are. Thanks, hat for. Uh, I think one of them is me typing shit up. And cheers! Oh Yay. yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day! Woo! Hey. Just um. Uh,